Greetings folks, I learned something very interesting the other day. You can get 48 PWM channels, that's 48 direct PWM channels, that's servos connected to receivers, no flight control boards or SBUS or anything like that. You can get 48 channels from the more recent uh, FreeSky radios and protocols. You can connect six receivers to the radio three to the internal module and three to an external module that runs access and in this video i'll demonstrate how that works uh, and now why would you need 48 channels i hear you asking well the fellow who asked me to try this out uh, jan fabry i think his name is runs um, fully working scale tugboats or working boats uh, and they need lots and lots of channels apparently uh, he says he has uh, 10 winches, maybe three cranes that use five channels each, lights, lifeboats, propulsion system, all of that sort of stuff. So uh, he, he said he was running out of channels. So uh, he wanted to make sure that you could actually get the 48 channels from um, these radios. And uh, yes, you can. And let's have a look at how we do it. I've made up this test rig just to prove that it actually can do all of those channels individually. Luckily, I have stacks of uh, crappy old plastic servos lying around from planes that I've reviewed and destroyed and cut up and all that sort of stuff. What we have from here back to there is all the internal module. We have a R10 Pro, 10 servos, 10 channels there, a GR8 Archer receiver, 8 channels there, uh, an RX6R, 6 channels over here. And they are all bound to the internal module and the external module which is a twin light pro we have a grx8 over here another eight channels an rx6r six channels another rx6r another six channels there all of these are powered via bec there uh, i have a, a current meter on there just to make sure i'm not going to um, blow anything up but uh, because i'm only operating servos individually uh, it never actually gets above half an amp really so uh, for this setup there's no power problems at all if you're actually on a, on, a, on, a, on a model and operating everything at the same time you would get quite a lot of current draw so you would have to think about your um, uh, power distribution so i've programmed up all the different channels uh, and i can ac access every separate channel individually I've got a sequence of uh, movements going through there set up by logical switches that just does each channel uh, sequentially and I'll show you how I set that up later on. So I have ailerons on channel 1, elevator channel 11, rudder channel 18, throttle channel, channel 25, uh, right, left slider channel 33, right slider channel 44, but if I flick this switch here, you'll see all the channels working sequentially. So they're all on the R10 Pro internal module. Now we're on the GR8 internal module, RX6R internal module. Now we're switching over to the external module, GRX8, RX6R, and another RX6R there. Uh, that's only 44 channels because I, I ran out of... Um, uh, access capable eight channel receivers so I could only must, uh, muster up 44 individual channels but there you go it actually does work it's incredible all right so let's have a look at the uh, model setup um, if we go to the mixer you can see I just have free mixes for left slider right slider throttle rudder elevator and aileron they're all pretty normal setups uh, but then we have 44 mixes for uh, channels 1, 2, 3 up to 44 using logical switches 1, 2, 3, 4 up to 44 of course um, I'll just show you the logical switches now so we'll go for logical switch 1 and the input is the SH switch in the down position and uh, the function is edge and the this three three dots means it's the falling edge so it's when that switch turns off basically and duration is 0.5 seconds so basically that what that means is we can see it here 
When I flick that switch and then let go, that turns the uh, logical switch one on for half a second. And then LS2 continues on. LS2 trigger condition is the LS1 switch, the previous LS, uh, logical switch. And again, 0.5 seconds. So once I let go of that switch, LS1 turns on for half a second. When that turns off, LS2 turns on for half a second, etc., etc. And right on down to channel 44, in my case. We could go to 48 if we had the receivers, of course. So basically, each channel is turned on by a logical switch for half a second when the previous logical switch turns off. And that's how it cycles through all the channels. Now, I'll show you the RF system, how that works. So we've got internal module turned on, uh, protocol is access, and we have the three receivers registered and bound, the R10, GR8, and RX6R. Now, if we go into the uh, this section here, the channel range, and increase that to channel 24 to give us 24 channels on the internal module, which is what I've done. And then if you go into set for each receiver, then for each pin, we can assign which channel we want it to address. Uh, so pin 1, I'll set to channel 11, because we've got 1 to 10 on the R10 receiver, uh, 13, 14, 15, 16, uh, up to 18 on this one. And on the RX6R, we have pin 1 is channel 19, pin 2 is 20, 21, 22, up to 24, of course. So that's the internal module. Now the amazing thing is we can have the external module working as well. And the external module is the Twinlight Pro. Uh, I'm using access protocol. You probably could use the twin protocol if you had twin receivers and we change the channel range from 1 to 24 to 25 to 48 uh, and then you go down and uh, reset the pins remap the pins to uh, channels and these well these appear as channel 1 to 24 again uh, but channel 1 on the external module is not the same as channel 1 on the internal module so you can't actually choose channel 25 to 48 it's still channel 1 to uh, 24 so you just have to keep your head around that as you're reassigning the uh, channels to the pins on the external module receivers So there we go. I thought that was uh, pretty amazing. It's, it's pretty um, unusual circumstances you'd need that many channels, but uh, it is a feature of these radios and uh, the modern FR Sky radios and the newer protocols Pretty incredible. I think if you actually need all those channels, that's fantastic. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.